Okay, so let's talk about on request functions. So these functions you can call through an HTTP endpoint. As you can see with this first function we created, if we go to our TypeScript, we're just doing a fetch call and all it does is return hello from Firebase. So this is pretty, pretty powerful if you're trying to set up a basic API. Maybe you wanna keep, maybe you're reaching out to another data source and you wanna keep your private key safe. You don't wanna show it on the client stuff like that these are very beneficial however in the context of your application unlike on call functions what we're going to talk about in the next lesson they don't have any context of what's happening in your application so i can't tell if you're authenticated making these calls anything like that what we're going to do in this one is we're going to spice this hello world function up a little bit and we're going to use it with uh, firestore so what i'm first going to do is i'm going to import star as admin and from the Firebase admin package. And then what we have to do for using any Firebase services, you should always do it in your index.ts file in your source. We're gonna do admin, but it's that object we just imported and I'm gonna do initialize app. So we're just gonna call that. If we call that, we'll be all good. Um, then what we will do is I'm gonna go in between this logger, what this just shows us in our um, log explorer, hello logs, very simple. I'm gonna do await admin dot firestore, what's a function, and I'm gonna do collection, we'll just call the collection hello, and then I'll do doc, I'm not gonna give it a name, we'll allow it to be randomly generated, uh, the ID of the document, and then I'll do create. And in here, I'm going to pass in an object and I will just do, I will call it, I will call the field, the first and only field in that message. And I will say, hello from HTTP endpoint, for example. You will see that we're getting an error on a wait and that's because we haven't allowed this function to be asynchronous. So, I will add, I will preface it with async, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to deploy this function. So I'll do Firebase deploy, and then with the flag only functions. And we'll come back once this is done. Okay, perfect. So our function has been deployed. So I'm gonna go over to the browser, and you can see our function right here. And I'm right in functions and let's go to our Firestore database and you'll see that it's completely empty. So what I'm gonna do, I already have the function here. This says hello from Firebase. I'm just gonna reload that. And you'll see we get status of 200. Everything looks good. Hello from Firebase, perfect. And now I'm gonna go to Firestore database and you will see that we have a new collection called hello and we have a document with a randomly generated ID and the message as expected says hello from HTTP endpoint. So that's the basics of how you use um, HTTP callable functions. Um, I would recommend if you're using these setting your whole project up with um, the uh, Firebase app check just for attestation um, testing and protection. Um, that will allow you to just be a little bit safer and it uses a recapture um, v3 provider for that so it's very easy to set up um, yeah so that's all for this one and the next one we're going to talk about um, the on-call functions and we'll start talking about things such as authentication application context and some more advanced features so yeah that's all for this one have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.